performing the visual motion sensitivity test utilizing motion guidance. We're gonna need the second to largest strap, the perpendicular mount, the green rechargeable laser, and our three by five card. We're gonna utilize the mount and place that into the yellow field. And again, remembering to tilt the laser to the side for the application. The patient can then put this on their head, placing the laser anywhere in front and have it be comfortable, not producing any extra symptoms. Okay. Then he's gonna hold the card. He'll cover up one of the objects to give him a focus point. Are you looking directly at the object now? So then I can turn on the laser and put the laser onto that area. For the visual motion sensitivity test, he is going to be performing a full body rotation with the intention of the head and the arm moving at the same speed with the torso throughout a full 180 degree arc at 50 beats per minute. So we're gonna utilize our metronome and I'm going to dial this all the way down to 50 beats per minute. And the patient performs 10 full repetitions while keeping the laser on the card. So that's the speed. Go ahead and turn all the way to the right. And this is your starting point. So whenever you're comfortable, come all the way to the left. to go through a larger arc so move a little quicker and stop and stop any dizziness headache fogginess nausea okay for this test I recommend you stay close to the patient but you have to be slightly behind them uh, because they might get significant symptoms with this particular test, and you want them to have a complex background, not something with a uniform color. In a normal test, a patient would see the laser on the card, be able to go a full 180 degrees, and keep the laser on the card. If the laser comes off the card, this could give you insight into how the patient is moving. So go ahead and come back up, put the laser on the card for me. In this case, as he starts to move his body all the way to the right, if the laser then comes off the card, but he continues to move, his head is now lagging behind during the VMS test. If he's able to acquire the laser and come back onto the card, and then as he goes left, the same thing occurs, he keeps going, and in this time, the laser moved sooner. So his head was moving faster than his arm and his torso in this case. This would actually be changing the intention of the test. We wanna have that head, arm, and torso moving at the same speed the whole time throughout the test, and that's where the motion guidance gives us accuracy on this particular test inside of the VOMS.